Tropic Lightning, everybody. Major General Joe Ryan, Lightning 6, Command Sergeant Major Rob Haney, Lightning 7. Morning announcements, August 4th, 2023. Time flies. School starts next week. Yeah. Uh, big, big for uh, families, soldiers alike. Yeah. Um, so we'll make uh, sure we're ready for that. With the school starting, there's been some changes to the bus schedules that's there been has. posted there out. Has. There has. As a matter yeah. of fact, we talked about that a little bit just this morning. Garrison Commander Steve McGonagall told us uh, Leilahua High School in particular has kept some bus routes. Yeah, they've kept a couple. But bus routes across Hawaii, across Oahu, have been affected. So make sure um, everybody's tracking that. And yeah. if you do have issues for whatever reason, um, make your chain of command aware, get with the garrison, school liaison in particular, yep. they can help out. We're putting out some extra bike racks at some of the locations. That's right, that's, so right. that, that's what uh, we about this morning. So the kids can ride there and lock up their bikes. Yeah, so kids can ride to the bus stop, the, the, the Hawaii, you know, Honolulu bus, yep. park their bike, lock it up, and then, and then get on the bus. Holo cards yeah. activated and things like that. Schools are providing those, so that's a big thing. Um, Talisman Sabre, Australia, a lot in the news uh, about the impacts of that um, pathways activity uh, exercise. Uh, 25th Division uh, in U.S. Army Hawaii had a huge, huge uh, amount of folks, huge uh, impact on, on that particular exercise here that's coming up, it's wrapping up now. We were there for about a week, just got back we what, went up 48 and, hours yeah, ago? Went up and saw the DSB. Yeah, yeah. Doing so, great work. Division Sustainment Brigade out of Darwin, Australia, Northern Australia, doing fantastic work on the logistics side, port opening activities there for the whole joint combined force. Second Brigade combat team as well, in particular the Gimlets. Yeah, a lot down of walking. On, down on the FTX, doing a lot of walking. Um, the uh, Devardi obviously had some... Uh, some uh, some participation there in the combined joint live fire exercise, and now um, uh, and and during the FTX from uh, from 211 FA, uh, the you know combat aviation brigade not not our combat aviation brigade not in Talisman Saber, but at the same time in Thailand for yeah. exercise Hanuman Guardian. Uh, wrapping up there, uh, just getting back now, uh, but some good work there with um, with our Thai counterparts. Uh, again, as part of Operation Pathways, and um, and then Third Brigade uh, getting ready to go to leader training program at Fort Polk, Louisiana, JRTC, in preparation for Joint Pacific Multinational Readiness Center rotation this fall. It's always hard to keep track of where everybody's at. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of, you know, Devardi, of course, yeah, small contingent oh, as yeah. part of Talisman Sabre, but they got the, all their leaders on a Mungadai as we speak in, in Kwajalein Atoll. Yeah. Uh, no comms out there in Kwajalein Atoll. Yeah, yeah, we haven't heard much from them. No. So hopefully it's going well because uh, we, we'll get an update here later today, a good report from them and see how they're doing. So a lot continues to go on here in the 25th Division, U.S. Army Hawaii, um, throughout leadership transitions and personnel turnover and all the stuff that happens normally during the summer. So the good news is, you know, we've got pretty much everybody in place now. Here we are early August, uh, time to start ramp, wrapping, or ramping things up to get uh, back into training and back toward the fall activities, which is always real busy here with JPMRC yeah. in particular. Um, the other thing I'll highlight, um, for the month of August, a uh, bunch of bunch of leadership coming out here to visit. In particular, staff mm -hmm. delegations from a number of our congressional offices in Washington. Uh, for those who aren't aware, you know, Congress kind of takes some time off during the month of August, and they use that time off to get out back out to their constituencies, to get out and travel and see things that they can't see while they're ensconced in Washington. Um, in particular. Uh, we'll get a bunch of staff delegations out here. We've got three that I know of that are coming just next week. Just next week. Yeah, we have all. Uh, between Oahu and, and over in Pohakaloa training area on the Big Island. So, so we'll be doing that. I mean, we, we've kind of got our standard 
menu of things that we do and talk about when we see those folks, but every, every visit's a little bit new and um, we take them very seriously and we appreciate the fact that, uh, that our elected leaders are either coming out here or they're sending their staffers yeah. out here to come learn about what's going on in the Indo-Pacific. So pretty important for us and for the leadership to take those things seriously. But there's other big news. So you mentioned transition. I did. So uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to the Chief of Staff of the Army, uh, General McConville, who uh, retired today. today. Retired today. Uh, thanks for all your service. Thanks for all you've done for this nation. 40th Chief of Staff of the Army. 40th Chief of Staff of the Army. And then to the 16th SMA of the Army, who retired this week also, um, Sergeant Major Grinston, thanks for all that you do. Thanks for your impact on the Army. Uh, I appreciate your leadership and, uh, and the Army has appreciated all you've done. And then we look forward to uh, SMA Weimer uh, coming in, yep. Uh, yep. you know, the 17th SMA. And then uh, uh, in the interim, General George. Uh, Vice until, Chief of Staff of the Army acting Vice Chief in, of Staff in, the, Army in, the, in the duties of uh, acting Chief of Staff, yeah. General George. So I look forward to all that we're going to do. Uh, you know, again, as you talk about with transition, uh, it's a turbulent time, but I, I, I do, you know, everybody has an opportunity to make it better, and uh, this is a new new group coming in to yeah, make it better. Yeah. And, we'll, and the Army will be, the Army's in great hands. Yeah. I mean, I joke a lot about. I was going to go with that one. I joke but. about transitions with, you know, kind of the addition by subtraction uh, theory, uh, but in this case, you know, we are losing two phenomenal leaders, Great leaders who have been at this for a while and have given their heart and soul to the Army. So to General McConville and to Sergeant Major of the Army, Grinston, uh, fair winds and following seas. Yeah. And um, we, we wish you only the best. You deserve to take a break, um, but uh, you've left a legacy of leaders in your wake that uh, will continue to do and strive for the things that you represent. And for, for Sergeant Major Weimer, who's Sergeant Major of the Army Weimer, and to uh, Vice Chief of Staff of the Army, General George, um, who is in acting capacity now, um, we, we are excited for what the future holds. And we look forward to, to, um, to doing your bidding out here in Hawaii for as long as You'll let us. Throughout the Indo-Pacific. That's right. As long as they'll let us, yes. yes. That's right. That's right. Tropical lightning, everybody. Strike hard.